Hey friends, my name is Jennifer Terry. I make Philippine travel updates. In this video, I'm going to talk about departure guide for foreign nationals. I promise to make this video and here it is. These are the requirements that you will show upon your exit in the Philippines. So this video covers dual Filipino citizens, Balik Bayans, foreign tourists, SRRV holders, permanent residents, immigrants in the Philippines, and non-immigrants. Before we get into this, it's just a disclaimer that this is for general information only. This is not legal advice. Always do your due diligence. If you have questions to immigration, these are their contact info. Or you can refer to the immigration's website for information. So without further ado, let's get started. For dual citizens who are watching, if you are a dual Filipino citizen, when you leave the Philippines, when you exit, always present both passport entry and exit. Please present both passports. If you have a foreign and Filipino passport, you present mo yan, the immigration officer will stamp both passports. As for your foreign passport, they will stamp your arrival date and write PP there, meaning Philippine passport. Okay, you will be admitted to the country as a dual Filipino citizen. If you don't have a Philippine passport but you are a dual citizen, then present your certificate of reacquisition or retention of Philippine citizenship. Then they will write Philippine citizen in your foreign passport as well. How about e-travel? Do Filipino citizens, dual Filipino citizens need to do the e-travel? Is that for Filipino only? Well, according to immigration, all departing Filipino passengers as a replacement for the submission of paper-based departure cards must register. Are you a Filipino? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Mag-register po tayo. It, it's no biggie. It only takes five minutes. Go do the e-travel thing. And how long can you stay in the Philippines? I added this because it's a question that's always been asked. If you are a dual Filipino citizen, forever po. Yes, you heard me. Kahit forever ka pa magstay dito, pwede. No need to do what visa extensions, applications, wale. You can stay here as much as you want. Dual citizens who are leaving the Philippines and who have stayed only for less than one year in the country. No requirements, no action needed, just present your passports. How about travel tax? Uh, yeah, it depends. If you've stayed in the Philippines for one year or more, then we will have to pay the travel tax. Okay, economy 1620. Next, we have Balik Bayans, those who were given the Balik Bayan stamp, former Filipinos, their spouse, says, and children. When you leave the country, make sure you have that Balik Bayan stamp in your passport. They will check that. Um, if you've renewed your passport while in the Philippines, let's say you stayed here for a year or more, you'll have to transfer that Balik Bayan stamp to your new passport. Balik Bayans who are visiting the Philippines are required to have their entry stamp to their new passport before leaving the country. Balik Bayans, you must visit the immigration office, present your old and new passport. They will need to fill out an application form, pay a fee, and provide supporting documents such as your return ticket and proof that you, you are a Balik Bayan, like your old passport. It is called transfer of admission status. The information is in the immigration website. Moving on, travel tax, exit clearance. You have to pay. If you have stayed for less than one year in the country, you did not extend your Balik Bayan stay, then no requirements, no action needed. Most of you are in this case. If it's only a short vacation, it wasn't one year or more, you just go. Okay? <laughs> Balik Bayans who have extended the validity of their one year visa free Balik Bayan stay, meaning after the Balik Bayan stay one year, you went to the immigration office, extend for six months, total of 18 months of stay. Bam! You have to pay for travel tax and apply for Immigration Clearance Certificate or ECC before you leave the country. Okay? Or you can just do both of these at the airport. Just be early. Or at an immigration office or online. Next, we have foreign tourists. Foreign tourists, those who are who entered the country with a 9A visa or those who entered visa-free. 
you have to pay travel tax or get an exit clearance. Um, before we get into that, just a reminder, please stay updated with your authorized stay extensions. Remember, when you enter the country, you were given 30 days. And then if you want to stay more, you get a 29 days extension. That's called Visa Waiver Program. And after that, you get one to two months monthly extensions or up to six months if you're married to a Filipina. Overall, if you're non-visa required, like say American, Canadian, Australian, UK national, South Koreans, many of you are, you can stay continuously in the Philippines for three years. Yeah, baby. You can stay here long term as a tourist. You just have to be updated with your visa extensions. And for visa required nationals, up to two years. And well, if you've um, used all that three years or two years, you can do a visa run. You can restart your three years or two years, you just gotta leave the country for at least a day. Go back to your country or visit a neighboring Asian country or stay at the airport in another country and then return to the Philippines the next day. Heh, you can do that, people have done that. It's called visa run. So, you know, we make it so easy for you to stay here, so just abide with the extensions <laughs> and follow the law. So for foreign tourists who have stayed for less than six months in the Philippines, no requirements, no action needed. You can just go. Bye. <laughs> Hope you had fun here. For if you've extended your stay, um, just bring the receipts of your extensions. Yeah, just, just bring those receipts. While for foreign tourists who stayed for more than six months but not for one year, again, bring the receipts of your extensions and apply for Immigration Clearance Certificate or an ECC. If you've stayed for less than one year, you can get this online or you can get this at the airport. If you're planning to get this at the airport, be early, okay? Foreign tourists who stayed for more than one year, yeah, bring receipts of extensions, pay travel tax. Yep, if you're a tourist and you've stayed here for one year or more continuously, you need to pay travel tax. It's 1620 for economy. And then apply for immigration clearance certificate. Moving on, we have the retirees, the SRRV visa holders. If you're holding this special resident retirees visa, what do you need when you leave the country? First and foremost, for those who are not aware, um, this retirement visa gives foreigners indefinite stay with multiple entry and exit privileges. If you want to retire here, get this visa. If you want to avoid visa extensions, exit clearance, annual report, yeah, this is it. This is a lifetime visa and its holders are exempt from Bureau of Immigration requirements. What you would need is that if you want to be admitted as an SRRV, then you have to make sure that your SRRV visa is still valid. Remember to renew them annually. The cost depends on what SRV classification you have, but it could be from $10 up to $360 per year. Yeah. How about travel pass? Travel tax? Yeah, you will be concerned with that. If you are an SRV holder, every time you leave the country, you need a travel pass. All outbound SRRV visa holders must secure a travel pass when departing from the Philippines. This was a requirement that was introduced only in 2021. So a travel pass is an electronic system generated digital pass. It can be saved on your phone or it can be printed out. It's valid for 30 days from the date of issuance and it is free. How can you get it? You can get it online through the PR web PRA website if you have your details or you can also visit a PRA office. I'll have the, I'm sure you know of it already, but I'll have the link in the comment section. SRRV holders who stayed for less than one year, the only thing that you need when you leave the country is apply for travel pass. For SRRV holders who stayed for one year or more in the Philippines, travel pass and then pay for travel tax. Yeah, you stayed continuously for one year or more, travel tax. That's according to the Philippine Retirement Authority. Moving on, former foreign permanent residents or immigrants, those who are permanently living in the Philippines. What do you need when you leave the country? Travel tax, re-entry permit, exit clearance, could be all. The Philippine travel tax is imposed to permanent resident aliens, meaning you. 
foreign permanent residents in the Philippines. Regardless of the duration of stay, you'll pay, baby. Just like Filipino citizens. Moving on, the ECC or the Immigration Clearance Certificate may be needed if, let's say, uh, let's say you have an expired or downgraded visa or you're leaving the Philippines for good, you'll be getting the ECCA. But if you're only leaving the country temporarily, let's say you're only gonna visit a family abroad or travel to another country and then return to the Philippines, you'll be getting the ECCB, which, uh, which is for you, um, immigrants who are leaving the country temporarily. Other than that, you will also need a re-entry permit. So obtain your re-entry permit from the Bureau of Immigration if you plan to leave the country temporarily and then return without losing your immigration status. Um, another thing that would be required once you apply for your ECC and re-entry permit is a valid ACRI card, um, photocopy of your passport, re-entry permit fees, which is valid from six months to one year. So in summary, if you are an immigrant, a foreign permanent resident, you'll need a valid alien certificate of registration. Please make sure you renew that before you leave the country. And then your ECC and re-entry permit, they can be under one application, which is good. And then pay for travel tax. So three things, ECR, ECC, RP, and travel tax. Sounds a lot of things, but actually, yeah. <laughs> for the ACR, you go to the immigration office. Um, ECC, you can do this same time with your ACR iCard. And then travel tax, you can pay this along with your ticket or you can pay this online or you can pay this at the airport. Moving on, non-immigrants, temporary visa holders in the Philippines, for example, students, workers, Travel tax, exit clearance, special return certificate, what do you need? All of these things. For immigration clearance certificate, if you're leaving the country only temporarily, you'll be getting the ECCB. But if you are leaving the country for good or if you have downgraded to an immigrant or non-immigrant visa, ECCA. And you must pay for travel tax if you stayed for one year or more in the Philippines. But if you stayed for less than one year, then no need to pay. ECC and Special Return Certificate, they are in one application. Just a summary, if you are a non-immigrant who stayed in the country for less than one year, you have to make sure that your ACR I-card is valid and you need to get ECC and Special Reentry Permit. They are in one application, okay? The ECC and SRC. You can get this online or at an immigration office or at the airport. Next, non-immigrants who stayed in the country for one year or more. First, you have to make sure that your ACRI card is valid. Then you need ECC and special re-entry permit. And then you have to pay for travel tax. So I hope that is clear. Guys, just a summary. For the ECC, if you are required to apply for ECC, where should you apply? It is recommended by immigration that if you stayed for less than one year, you can just pay this at the airport. But if you've stayed for more than one year, it's better that you secure that ECC at an immigration office. So there are really three options. You can do this at the airport or at an immigration office and Terminal 3 one-stop shop or online which is a new thing this was just um, launched uh, December last year you can actually apply for ECC online through the eservices.immigration.gov.ph let me show you yeah you can make an account see so you can apply for your ECC certificate of exemption and with the entry permit and special return certificate so you just have to input your ACR I card number your passport number, um, basic, your information, personal info, your intended date of departure and expected date of arrival. And then you submit that. So I haven't had a personal experience doing this ECC. I would like to. If there's anyone who wants to volunteer that I could apply for their ECC, um, email me. Yeah. So that is it, guys. In summary... In summary, if you are a foreigner and you've stayed in the country for one year, 100%, you have to pay for travel tax. 
if you are a non-immigrant and you've stayed for less than one year, no need to pay for travel tax. But thank you so much for tuning in with me. If this was helpful, please leave a like on the video, share this, and subscribe if you haven't done so. I make travel updates in the Philippines and immigration updates. Yeah. I'll see you with another update. Stay safe and God bless you all. Bye.